was like, no, like I was in Boston, like nine points, four rebounds. I was like, man, man, I got to go. So when I got hurt, I was actually happy I got hurt. I was like, ah. And then I was, I was at home. I was like, you know, I got a million and a half on this last year deal. Do I want to do a Shaq tour? Do I want to come back? I'm like, I'm done. I love you. I love the second part of your career is more fun than basketball, I think. It's been so, you're such a joy. Like, who do you think, if you had to put it to the room, who do you think would be, if you could Freaky Friday body swap with someone, who, how much fun would it be to wake up as Shaq? I would just be you. like, you're like, whoa, why are my feet off the bed? All right. Follow, follow up question. You swap into prime Shaq. Oh, the first thing I do is get naked and get in front of a mirror. <laughs> checking this body out i want to see my feet i want to see there's so much i want to look at i mean i knew that was your answer i just wanted i was going to say what's the first thing i do i'm going to cough and i'm closing my line i'm like hey drake suck this were you intimidated by the drake video no i don't know why he even sings when you have a hog like that <laughs> Shout out to the comedy special. Oh my god. Use that. Use that comedy special. Uh, now is a perfect time for our segment. Ask Dr. O'Neill. Uh, if you have a question you'd like to ask Dr. O'Neill, you can leave it in the YouTube comments for this episode or email it to askdr.oneill at gmail.com. And my new counterpart, Dr. Bert. That is why Doctor is here. Shaq is actually a doctor. Bert, have you ever been offered a uh, the title of doctor in any way? Well, oh, I did Florida State. I did their arena, and they brought me in, and they were like, hey, we have a present for you before you go on stage. And I thought I was getting a doctorate. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me a gown and a cap, and they gave me the spear, which is so much better. That is and I just went up. This is right before Donald Trump got in trouble. I went out with a spear and led him in the chant, and I was soft. I want to say the nineties, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, I mean, like, like another highlight reel. Yeah, prime time. Oh, oh yeah, man. I got, I'm, I got my guys. Like my guys. Like so, you you get to pick your heroes in life based on your age and when you're interested in things. So when it comes to football, all my heroes are young, are much older. Mm. Like Doug Williams, uh, Ricky Bell, uh, Batman Woods, uh, Leroy Selman, Mean Joe Green, Terry Bradshaw. Like those are the guys. That was when football was big for me. Yeah. When basketball showed up for me is Shaq, Magic, John, uh, 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 Bird, uh, uh, Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. But like even some deep cuts like White Chocolate. Like that was when basketball showed up for me. Comedy is like Bill Murray, Chris Farley, like that mm. thing. But like my sports, man, there are some guys that are like that are like my heroes, and Dion's one of them. Dion is just Shannon E from Chicago S. Doctor O'Neill and Doctor Kreischer. My fiance gets mad at me because I want him to get a job. He wants to be a comedian and actor, and he thinks that a job would get in the way of his dream. I'm trying to be supportive, but we have a baby. He's not making enough from his talent to help me pay the bills and take care of our child. Am I wrong here? Oh, I think. Uh, get out of his way and let him follow his dream. I was that guy. I remember I was making seven hundred dollars a week on the road when George was born. I don't know why Leanne stuck with me. I don't know what she saw because I didn't see it. And we was seven hundred. I had to pay for my flight and the hotel. Leanne was working a job where she paid our. We had free rent because she worked in the building, and I just was like. And then when I started making money, I go, "Did you ever think this would happen?" She was like, "Yeah, I believed in you." And you got to have that ride or die. Who's like, "That's my guy." I believe in him, and and I am so grateful. I was a penny stock that that multiplied for her, mm. and so like I would always say, if you don't follow your dreams, you're not living your life right, you know. And your dream doesn't have to be a comedy star. I have so many friends that make great money doing comedy, and they love what they do. Not everyone gets some awesome opportunities, but you can just make great money, like great money. Like you can make a million dollars a year being a comedian. That's great money. That's great money. You can make. I remember when I, when I made, I remember I did the math wrong, and I was like, I'm making $125,000 a year doing stand-up. I got all my dates. And Leanne's like, no, you're not. You're not you got to pay taxes on that. you got to pay agents. And you're making, really making like 50 grand. And I was like, what? But I remember that moment of pride of like being like, oh, I can, like I still don't really know how much money I make. Yeah. Like I don't buy things. Even if I buy something, i got to go, can I afford this? And they're like, yeah. yeah. You know, I look at this I look at this house. I told you. 
my finances. I will, I will have a house in Bowden, Georgia. That is gonna. I will just live there. This is like this is a dream. This is a dream. You need to go see the closet. I, buddy, if I was gonna creep or break into someone's house, it's this house. I would love to explore it. I would love to see everything. You're go upstairs. You be up in front of you. Uh, <laughs> that, no, they caught me. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm Jack. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. And I think to add on to that, if you force a person to do something, and they they're not really doing what they thrive to be doing, the relationship will fail eventually at some point. Mm. So I agree with him. You have to stick with him. But and times uh, change. Yeah. Like if you had said, I mean, think about it. And you, I, this really goes to you, but like when you got in the league, if someone had pulled you aside, I remember you talking about your, I know a lot about you, but I remember you talking about your first check, you bought your dad a car, you a car, and then all of a sudden you were out of money. And you were like, how did that happen? If you had said to one of the old heads that ran uh, commentating on basketball at the time, probably some old white guy, yeah. like to get tied up and would bite chicks, I think. What was that, the guy? And so 